all just me tea all right so this is the part two to my other video of me talking about my traditional pieces today i'm gonna be talking about my um digital pieces that i've done um so let's go ahead and get started on those um i didn't really do too much digital work because most of my digital classes were towards the end of my um my year i did a lot of traditional um work because that's the medium i usually like to work in but um I'll just kind of just show you guys, and I'll it'll be a big display, um, what I'm doing. Um, but I'll go ahead and talk about my graphic design class. I, this is my first graphic design piece that we did. We had to make a book cover, um, and he gave us really complicated, like, thing we had to do. It took a lot of time. But this is, um, the cover I came up with. Um, obviously, most of our stuff comes from the internet, because that's just, you know, how we have to do our stuff. But, um, this is what I did. My book cover. I know it's hard to tell if it's a book cover, but... It's a book cover. Uh, monster waves, and I just played the illusion, the monster waves, and it was interesting. Um, a lot of good critiques and feedback with that class. Class is hard. But I'm not, I'm not sure how I got an A, but God knows. Um, another thing, this one's kind of hard too, but I'll actually show a digital piece. Um, this was for a book we had we had to do a series, um, make a book title cover. Oh, well, this was actually a PSA. Sorry, PSA announcement for a well, not well-known um, event that happened in history. Based on a year, I got 1920s. So I decided to do the Harlem Renaissance because not a lot of people know about that, actually. Um, it's just wanted Negro artists during the Harlem Renaissance. And our words had to be um, creative. We couldn't just, like, type. We had, like, the title had to be made out of objects. So the wanted um, was made out of woods, um, kind of symbolizing going back into, you know, slavery and just I don't know I always think of like woods and bricks and all that stuff and then Negro was based off of words that symbolize back the slavery um and black culture and like that and artist was out of art um pieces that were during the Harlem Renaissance time and everything like that so it's kind of interesting but um it's actually a big piece but you know I printed this out for my grad party so people can see what I did um, okay, so I have some other graphic design pieces, but I'm not sure where they are. Um, but at the end of this video, there's going to be, um, other pieces I've done, just, you know, so you guys can see. I guess I could talk about a few now. Um, uh, one piece I did was, um, it was for my art of social media class, and it was called Love Your Selfie. And I decided to create, like, a cell phone and, like, a like you're on Instagram. And it's going to look like the old Instagram before we got the update, because this was a couple years ago. So, um, it's going to be like the Instagram and it has a camera and it's like love your selfie with all the filters and it's like no filter. And you should love who you are without adding these filters on your life and who you want like putting on like, you know, makeup or adding like the filter, what is it, heffy, whatever crazy filters Instagram has that I don't use anymore. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what that was an illusion to was just to love yourself with who you are, not having to put a filter on, on you. Um, and then, so I'm going to talk about my digital pieces I've done. Um, I took digital illustration. I had been drawing digitally on my phone. Um, as you'll see, there's some pictures up here, some things I've done on my phone. But I didn't really start drawing, like, in Photoshop until my last, my last semester, sorry, of my high school. I mean, college. Why are you thinking high school? Co college, college, guys. College. So, um, this was just a sample piece I did. This um, was for a sketch. We had to do every week. We had to turn in weekly sketches based on anything we wanted to do. We just had to be drawing digitally. Um, I did a quick Mickey Mouse sketch. Um, it's one I did. I really, really enjoyed that one. It was fun. Um, I'm trying to think which one I could show you. We have four projects. My first project was portraits. And I'm not going to show those because they're extremely crappy. And they're not my favorite. And it was me getting into Photoshop. So, But I've improved over the years. So, our second project we have to do is a sequel um, to a movie poster. I mean, to a, a, a poster for a sequel to a movie. I did Monsters, Inc. too. Um, and this was actually in the student art show that we did. Um, and I got it printed out professionally. And this is what it is. People always get amazed. Like, you drew that? I'm like, yes, in Photoshop. Um, and, you know, one of the things about drawing digitally, um, our professor Aldo, he was amazing. But he told us, you know, People always think you're crazy because when you draw professionally, you know, when you draw traditionally, you're usually, which is a trained eye, you're looking at something and you, you're drawing it and that's how your brain works. That same concept kind of works here because you can like 
sketch the actual characters out but you still have to know how to make it because it's just a quick sketch it's not like you're doing every detail right when you're doing it, it's a very quick sketch and then it's your job to fill in the detail make it straight make it look pretty then yeah when we take the color sample so the colors actually match but you have to blend the colors and um you probably can't see if you look closely you can see the detail of the lines make like he has fur and the detail and you know the eyes um it's, it's a lot of work it's not like it's oh you're drawing digitally you're cheating the system no this is still hard it's still something you have to get used to um blending was very an issue for me i'm still learning um so that was our second project our third project was pretty fun we had to morph two different worlds and that was crazy because you have all these ideas when you're trying to you know create art but you only have like a week or two to get the concept down and figure it out and this is how it works in the real world so i decided to do monkey ball i don't know if you guys know what monkey ball is little monkey creatures you know um yeah so i decided to do monkey ball and of course my favorite lilo and stitch um i decided to do stitch and angel and i decided to combine the two main characters of each of them and create this um yeah so Obviously, my favorite one is Stitch because that one came out the best. You can definitely get the idea in terms of who it is. People were a little confused on Angel because not a lot of people know, I guess, who Angel is. But, um, no, those are pretty much, like, I love doing this. And this is when I really started to fall in love with digital work. Um, doing digitally. Alright, so our last project, my very last project I did ever for my history in high school. I mean, college. God, I keep saying high school. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, we had to, this was, this was our own concept, right? We can do whatever we wanted to do. So, um, so I decided to do something a little different. Every fandom that I'm interested in, but we only, we did two or three, I did two. Every fandom that, um, I like, which I chose Game of Thrones and Harry Potter for this one. I want to pick a certain animal from that fandom and make them fans of their own fandom. Like, it's really weird, but it makes it more straight picture. So, um, I did these two, and these are separate, but I'm just showing you guys on here, because these are printed out, and it's easy for me to hold up and point. This is Game of Thrones, I decided to do a dragon, and she's, you know, a big fan of, obviously, Game of Thrones, she has a sword, the, the crown. I wanted to put her on the Iron Throne, but, eh, too much work. At that moment, um, she has the, what is that? Targaryen, could not see. Targaryen, um, symbol, and she's a dragon. This is Valor Morgalis. Um, and then for this one, I did Harry Potter. I did Hedwig drinking her butter beer with her wand and reading up on, uh, oh, Mischief Manage. Trying to get a book with um, Snitch right there and the sorting hat. And it says, I saw me swim up to no good. Um, so that's what I did for those. And yeah, that was pretty much fun. Um, yeah, those are both my digital pieces. Um, Hopefully I can do more. Um, at the end of this video, there's going to be other digital pieces I've done. Um, but you guys can go ahead and look at those. And probably more close-ups and better pictures of these. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any tips and tricks that you have done, just go on ahead and um, drop them in the comments below. And yeah, stay tuned for more. See ya!